Yo, 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 today we are gonna go through how you can deposit and trade your WAX tokens on an exchange. For a new person, using an exchange is kind of difficult to understand. There are a lot of numbers, a lot of new things that you have to understand, graphs and how do you navigate everything. We will use the Hobby Exchange. It is pretty much the same on every exchange. You just need to know where the different uh, things are in the menu. But that's not that difficult. So let's start here. So we have Hobby set up. I have logged in. The first thing you will have to do when you have logged in is to uh, do your KYC. That is know your customer. I will not show how that works, but that is you sending in uh, all your information like passport, you, all of these data so the exchange can comply with all the uh, anti-money laundry and all the all the different regulations that they have to do in order for you to trade there uh, nothing strange there you just need to identify yourself uh, when that is done you can go into your exchange account and this will be empty for the first time when you do this uh, and when you get here you will get uh, all of the different tokens that you are holding um, and well, you also get to see all of the tokens here. Uh, so if you want to deposit wax, you can just search for wax here, you will find it. You can hit deposit. When you do that, you will get a new menu here. Well, a new, a new place where you will have to, yeah. This is very important. If you do not use the correct deposit memo when you do this, your funds will be lost, likely. So yeah, I confirm. So here we see the everything, uh, the deposit address, everything that we need to know. So this tag is the memo. We have the account that we want to deposit to. So we go to Hobby Wax Depot. Then we go to our cloud wallet. We go to send wax. How much wax do we want to send? We want to send 1000 wax. Next, enter wax account, Hobby Wax Depot. We go back. We take this tag. We copy it. We go into the memo. And this has to be the exact correct one. So if this is not correct, it will not work. So then you just hit next and then you sign this uh, pop up that comes up uh, here. We have the, it going to and this. You should double check this before you do. If it, this is a lot of money for you when you deposit from your account to Hobby Wax Depot. Is this spelled the correct way? Uh, and yes, it is. Quantity 1000 wax memo. This is the exact correct memo. I hit approve. Bam, transaction successful. Now, after a few minutes, my new wax will be inside my hobby account. That may take uh, uh, one minute, it might take 10 minutes, it might take a little bit longer depending on how their server is working right now. Usually it takes like three to three to five minutes. That's usually how long it takes. They have to wait for, for some things to pass. When that is done and you have your wax, you will go, be able to go into your uh, exchange account on the hobby exchange here you can actually hit the button that will remove everything that you do not hold in your account hide small balances that will hide everything i'm not gonna do that right now because i don't want to expose what i'm holding in this uh, account right now so then we go to spot trading spot trading means that you are trading with your funds right now on the market so you are trading on the spot you are not using any leverage you are not using anything like that so exchange is what you want to hit here. And this is now we have a lot of different graphs. We have a lot of different data here. And this is all a lot of numbers that you may or may not need to know. So here we have the order book of sells and buys on the right side here. We can see people selling. We see the price. We see people buying. We see the price. Here we have some of my favorite that I have tagged right now. We see the USDT trade trading pair. So if you want to trade for the Feder. Uh, we, these are all the pairs that you can do that on this exchange uh, and when you are new do not use any leverage learn this from the start so we want to trade with wax so we search for wax when we do that we can see that here right now let me increase this size so it's a little bit easier for you to see here on the left we can see that we have wax p and usdt we have wax p and btc and wax p and eve so you can trade your wax with Feather, which is the US, USD stable coin, so pretty much like dollar, but the cryptocurrency. We have BTC, which is Bitcoin. We have ETH, which is Ethereum. So you can trade your WAX tokens for Feather, Bitcoin, or Ethereum on Hobby Exchange. So what you want to do here is you want to go to perhaps 
Bitcoin. So you go in here and then you, you see what happens. You can see the price is between 420 and 419 right now. That is how many sats they are listing on. So we can see all the different sell orders. You can place a sell order above or below market. Well, you shouldn't place a sell order below market. You should place it at or above. Uh, and then you can place buy orders at or below the market asking price. So we can see that the le last, last tra trade is this. And on Hobby, the moment you go into one of these uh, listings, the price will automatically set for the market price when you hit this page. That is something that is important to understand because on a lot of exchanges, this will not happen. And in case that has to happen, you can also copy this price. This is the latest trading price that we have seen. And then you can take your wax and you can take, I want to sell this. I want to sell 1000 wax for this price. And then you hit sell. And then you wait until someone has a matching order on the other side. Uh, when that is done, you will have your order done. So here we see, actually, we saw my wax deposit just got through. So the deposit we saw in the beginning of the video just arrived on the hobby exchange. So we know that everything works and my balance exchange. I can actually trade this right now if I want it for Bitcoin. If I want to do it for USDT, we can see that right now it is 15.4 cents. Um, we can see that the market order here, we can look at, if you want to see, you can look at different graphs here for the volume how what's the uh, the sell order we can see that a lot of people want to sell around uh 16.9 cents and then we go up to 17 and people want to buy down to 14.9 cents and we can we can start to see the the different spread of the volume here um and we can have different so i have add, added some stock rsi as to see a trend on the market when i when i go and look at this uh so when you do this, just enter the price. So if I want to place a sell order at a higher price, I can do that. So I want to sell 1000 wax when we hit 19.9 .9 cents. That's when I want to sell my 1000 wax. Now I have a sell order. So if the price increases to 19.9 .9 cents, my 1000 wax will be sold at that price. So that is exactly how it works. And right now that is a big chunk from where we are. But perhaps I want to have that order like, okay, in case we hit that, I want to sell. Or in, in case we go low enough, I want to buy. So you can actually place these orders. So if the market moves, you don't have to sit here and buy if you want to do that. So that is uh, uh, fully up to you if you want to be able to do that. This is how you work, work with an ex exchange, how you deposit to an exchange, how you do the trading, how the uh, exchange actually works. Very basic walkthrough how, how it works. It is the same if you trade with Bitrex or Qcoin or any of the other exchanges that has WAXP listed. Nothing strange at all. Just that you have to find your way and know where to search, where to go through this. And if this is your first time trading on an exchange, this is new to you, then you need to be careful. Read what you're doing. Are you doing a buy order or a sell order? How is this working? So you can do this the same way to buy anything uh, like WAX or a B Bitcoin, Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency. You can deposit uh, another cryptocurrency and trade it or you can even use your credit card or direct bank transfer, wire transfer to these exchanges. They are very advanced now the, uh, compared to just a few years ago. So it's very easy to do this. You just need to get comfortable with the interface, with all the graphs, all the numbers moving. But when you do, when you start to sit down and actually look at it, it is not that complicated. It's just a little bit scary when you start. Before we are done with this, just let me go through this as well. When you go here, balances, exchange account, and you have your wax P. So you have your wax, you want to move it out again to your, to your cloud wallet account or your wax account, whatever it is. We go to wax, we go to withdraw. Withdraw means that you take something out of the exchange. So here we go. We have your wax P. Enter your wax withdrawal address. So this is your cloud wallet. So in my case, this is my cloud wallet. I go to this account. I go here. I enter the exact correct account name. If you enter the wrong one, you do not get the funds. You made a mistake. So make sure you do this correctly. Uh, you do not have to have a tag if you send it to your account. If you send it to another exchange, you need to have a tag. You can have a tag from exchange if you want to, but you don't have to. So I'm not going to add it. 
we see a fee of 5 wax p right now to withdraw so do not do this in small amounts often do it a lot more in, in a bigger chunk and it's all fine so I can take 1000 wax and I can bring it out and we see that I will get 995 wax and this will also take about 3 to 5 minutes usually sometimes it's way faster than that uh, so yeah sit back and relax it may take a little bit longer but it will come there make sure you have the correct account everything should be uh, in order here so this is how you deposit to an exchange how you use an exchange how you withdraw from an exchange all of these are very basic nothing strange get comfortable and have fun peace